Alrighty, I think it is about high time that we uh, that we get started. So here we go. What's up, guys? It's me, a boy. Um, so it's been a bit since we have played uh, played Yakuza 4. I am very excited to get back into it though because um, because I just am. <laughs> it's 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 been a bit and like. I, I wanted to try to finish Yakuza 4, like, literally, like, as soon as possible. Not, like, as soon as possible, but, like, I wanted to, like, um, just finish the Yakuza series and actually finish it and not, like, blow it off, you know? Um, and there were times, like, especially, like, through, like, these, like, past couple of weeks and just further on into the future where, like, my schedule is just so royally cocked. It's gonna be so busy um but i i still want to play yakuza still so yakuza streams are probably gonna resume on uh on saturdays instead of wednesdays and wednesdays during that like brief period uh that's when i'll be streaming my uh my party slash uh slash fighting games so um so yeah so i'm gonna give it another couple minutes um I actually have to adjust something on um, on my video camera really quickly. Actually, just now that I'm like just looking at it, just gotta adjust it. L literally, like ever so slightly. Like, uh, where is it? Okay, now that's fine. I just have to. There we go. There you go. Sorry about that. Okay, that should be good now. All right. So let's go. So, uh, where we last uh, left off with Yakuza is our good boy here, Ak Akiyama, um, is talking to this lady right here, and he has some sort of test for her to do so that she can uh, get uh, her loan from him. So that is what we are going to do. So I hope you all are having a good day, um, or a good start to the weekend anyways, because it is Saturday. Um, my, like, general work schedule is going to be, like, pretty hectic for the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm planning on quitting my first job next week, or at least I was planning on quitting my first job next week. But, um, I need to actually, actually, can I go down here for this? Is that what this is? the fuck oh that's right we can go underground now this is what's been down here the entire time just a couple of homeless guys and whatever that is excuse me bruh yo Oh, yo, Garrett, what's up? Is this the same game with the haunted VHS tape? Absolutely. Absolutely, G-Man. What's up, guys? Milestone's one of my favorite dress rush shops, so that's something nice that's here, too. Okay, so he's buying her a dress. Uh, I'm gonna take this one. I like that. Okay, so we have another, now we have another sort of visit. Um, so, guys, I actually do have some good news. And, well, it's, like, good news partially with some, like, concerning news. So, um, first and foremost, I found out literally today when I got off of work uh, for parkour that restaurant workers here in the United States and maybe even just New York um, are eligible for the COVID vaccine. So, the week that I was going to put in my two weeks notice, um, the week that I was going to put in my two weeks notice, um, I find out that restaurant workers are eligible for the, for the COVID vaccine. So, that is the dilemma. Um, so what I did was I think this one will work well. I set up the appointment 
literally as soon as I possibly could. There was... There was one set for um, tomorrow that I was going to take, but I have work, and tomorrow is also Valentine's Day. But here, but here's the thing. Um, so... Sorry. Um, so here's so here's the thing. Um, isn't everyone eligible? Eventually, everybody will be eligible, but the way that I guess the country or just New York in general, I'm not exactly sure which it is. They're doing it in like waves. So like waves of certain people will be eligible to get it like at different points. So like once one, like a majority of one group has been like vaccinated then the second group will get vaccinated then the third group etc so it started with people who were over the age of 65 and then it went to um i think well like well actually no scratch that it was primary healthcare physicians and doctors and nurses people working in the hospitals along with people over the age of 65 and then it went to people over the age of 65 um with a couple of other uh caveats like it's just like gradual but over this past weekend i got an email that said uh restaurant workers were now eligible for it so i followed the link i made my appointments and here's the thing um this is this is the, this is the crazy thing though so i was eligible and i found a bunch of different dates there's a whole, there's like one location around me within like, like the next like 12 miles or so, right? Everywhere else is like a one hour drive at least. So the place that was near me had no appointments. The closest appointment that I could find was a two and a half hour drive away. And I was like, I don't know about a two and a half hour drive away because I have to work tomorrow. And the other day was like the Sunday of next week. And I was like, you know what? I could probably do this day. I took too fucking long to decide because within that like two minute period of me trying to contemplate it, both appointments sold out and it went all the way down to like fucking beginning of March. Another minute later, that was gone and it was like middle of March. So I kept refreshing the page and it was like all over the fucking place. So like, I just took the second that like, I just kept refreshing, refreshing, refreshing. And I got a February date finally. And it was like this entire week just happened to like open. So I took Tuesday, uh, like Tuesday at like eight in the morning. Hey reaping. What's up? Yeah. Um, so reaping to catch you up to speed. Um, Akiyama is doing the thing and I am eligible for a COVID vaccination. So I set up my appointment. I like sped through that application as fast as I could getting everything correct, uh, for this Tuesday and I got it. And literally like 20 minutes later, I just like checked the page again, just to see like how many appointments were like available everywhere was fucking sold out like everywhere every other every other appointment is booked so i was like dude like holy shit like even though like i was i'm eligible for it like getting the actual appointment is such a pain in the ass um and i got really lucky and that was also with me just like not being able to like i i literally hesitated for like a couple minutes and then the two appointments that i had like available just went away and then there was march because so many people are trying to get so many people are trying to get it like obviously um so so here's so here are the two dilemmas right so the first dilemma is that i'm working on tuesday um for my job so i decided that i'm going to be honest with them and not call in sick because i called in sick uh, last Wednesday, not this past Wednesday, but like the Wednesday before I already called in sick, used up all my sick time and my vacation time, which I don't really care about at this point, but like, I am going to be like, I have to be like brutally, I, I decided that I'm going to be honest with them and be like, Hey, um, I got the opportunity to get the COVID vaccine and this, it was such a bitch to get, but the only avail, the only appointment that they had available was like this Tuesday when I'm working 
it's a two and a half hour drive away, so I'm not going to be able to make it to work that day. I can work every other day of the week, and it's fine, but I just can't make this day. So that's, like, the first thing that I'm, like, kind of anxious about, um, because, for obvious reasons, like, I'm going to be ditching work to get the COVID vaccine, but, like, I feel like any, like, reasonable manager or person would probably be fine with that because it's the fucking COVID vaccine. So that's one thing yeah. that I'm just, um, just worried about. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. It should, if they're not, like, if he's, I could understand, like, him being pissed that it's, like, you know, maybe, like, two last minute, but, like, that's literally just what happened. Like, 20 minutes later, I checked again, it was gone. Like, it was, like, all the appointments were gone. So, so that was the first thing. But here was the other thing. I was going to put in my two weeks this week. So, the other dilemma now is that, like, obvious, so obviously, obviously, right? Like, I, I got the appointment literally as soon as I possibly could, pretty much so that I could put in my two weeks and, like, have it be safe. But, like, obviously you need, like, proof that you work there with the pay stubs and everything. And I got the pay stubs. Like, I got everything ready. But my question now is this. It's, like, so hypothetically speaking, so it's, like, I get the COVID vaccine on Tuesday, right? I wanted to put in my two weeks. So either Wednesday or Thursday, I got to be, like, hey, I wanted to put in my two weeks. But I'm, you know, I'm putting in my two weeks, whatever. So, like, I'm going to feel like shit doing that. And I'm sure they're probably going to see it that way, too, if they let me get the COVID vaccine on Tuesday. But my more pressing concern is if I need to stay employed there in order to get the second dose. Because the appointment for the second dose is made after you get the first dose. So is it like if I get the first dose, quit my job am I able to get the second dose? And, like, that's, that's like, the question that's on my mind. Because if I'm still able to get the second dose, I'm going to quit. If it's unsure, by the time that I go to the appointment, while I'm there, I'm going to be like, hey, so quick hypothetical but not hypothetical question for you guys. If I quit my job tomorrow, am I still eligible for the second dose? So, like... So that's that's the other dilemma. Honestly, that's the more important dilemma to me. Like that's the more important dilemma to me. Because if they say, "Well, you took your first dose, so it doesn't matter," then I'm going to be like, "Okay, well, it's it's fine then." But if even but if they're if they actually tell me like I have to stay employed there, then I might just I might just say fuck it and just stay employed there but try to like get my hours reduced. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask him. Yes, yes, of course. This is all gonna be after I get it. <laughs> after I get the first dose. Five million yen, oh shit. Snowball chance in hell of going out with Mickey. Even with another million yen, unless you make some changes, you could see her. Ten more times and still get absolutely nowhere. Meet me in the front of Millennium Tower later, I'll give you a little advice. Come all decked out in your lady killer vest. Oh jeez. Akiyama, are you actually setting Miki up on a date? Is that what you're doing? Am I supposed to go back over there now? That is right, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Wait, what? What the? Did, did this random ass punk just come up to me and just demand money? Oh my god. Oh, he has friends with him. It's so hard to get a job here in Puerto Rico for some reason. Could it be because of COVID reaping, or is it like a different reason? Because I saw your message earlier. You said that you got 
um, rejected by a couple of places. Honestly, just jobs in general right now, I feel like, are very hard to get. Sir, I am out. <laughs> Ah, uh, exactly. Here, take this with my apologies. I got a red hot 10,000 yen. That's neat. Bruh. This guy. I still hate the way that this map is orchestrated, by the way. I really do. Also, I thought that the map would... I could have sworn that the last time I played this, the map was visible. Because I hated doing this in Yakuza 3, and I thought that they fixed it. Now, where's Josh? Are you the bastard who gave my lady the shakedown? What? Huh? Huh? Did another bunch of random thugs just- oh my lord, what? Get over here. Get out of here. Akiyama really is just the best boy at this point. What have you missed from the last Yakuza 3 stream? It's been a while since I've even played Yakuza on stream. So like, I think you were here before that? But um, basically we're just um, so the Miki lady um, is getting her test on like what she has to do for me to lend her the, the money that I owe her. Or like for the, for the loan, not that I owe her, it's the money that, 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 um, that she wants. But he ain't cure you. He ain't cure you, but he's pretty cool. Oh, I lied about my girl. I was gonna say like, what? Dude, like you literally came in out of nowhere. Okay, so I need to go up. Oh my god, what? I really, I really wish that, um, that the map was on here. I, th I think it's this one. Is it this building? Building? That, that's, that's correct. Is Lily Chan here yet? She's waiting in the back room. Fantastic. By the way, Emily, how have you been? It's been a while. Let's get started. Yes, let's first, let's get changes to your outfit. Don't worry, I guarantee you'll look great. You can press it in the left stick to change the mid. I didn't even notice that I did that. I didn't even notice that I did that. That's crazy. Oh God. Okay. Looking in your eyes. Uh huh. Yep. The, the, that sounds about right. Also, what's up, Kung Fu? And hectic. Uh, yo, I love Akiyama so much. I love Akiyama so much. Where's Amanda? I've been doing pretty good. Um, post postgraduate life has been very fascinating. I've only worked one film job since, and um, honestly, I have no intention of going back really anytime soon. Uh, Akiyama-san, I. Yeah, I worked on um, on Restaurant Impossible for one day. No, not one day, for a couple days, but it was like one episode. Um, so that was cool. But like, literally, there's like nothing around my, like around my area that really has it. So I have to like, I'd have to drive quite a distance anyways, but also like, I'm just so busy at this point and like, I'm enjoying working at a parkour gym just way more. I, I just enjoy it more, so like, I don't know, and like just the basic like hopping from like film gig to gig to gig to gig, it's just, 
It's not my style. Um, and I, like, really got the sense that, like, that was the, um, that that was the case of what that would essentially entail, like, from talking to a bunch of other alumni and then just, like, working on a couple of, like, smaller internships. And I want you to entertain me as if I were a customer. <laughs> What the what the hell, Akiyama? What are you doing? As it turns out, I own the place. A new face to freshen up our lineup could really boost sales. You haven't even started and you're already decided you can't do it. We should just call the whole thing off. Starting today, you'll have three days to make us three million yen. Wow. Huh, okay. Yeah, exactly. The unstable income, like, it, the unstable income is like, one thing, but like unstable employment is just it's not good. Especially like around the winter time. Because I was talking with um I was talking with another one of our alumni about like what happens in like the off seasons. Um and he basically said that like he just gets other part time jobs or just like saves up a certain amount from his film jobs and just has that sustain him if he's not uh if he's not working but i'm like that's so unstable and risky but like also like i feel like it's also very anti-productive because like if it, you'd be making more like in bulk over like the time that you're working but if you have to save up a percentage of that to make sure that, like, you're set for, like, a little bit, if you don't get another job, like, that's just... No. <laughs> yeah, Hectic, how have you been? I'm, I'm honestly really enjoying Akiyama, like, a lot more than I thought I would. Because I knew immediately that, like, I'd be going to other characters, but Akiyama, for, like, starting off, is already super good. I have to face Kiryu as a boss here. Honestly, I feel like that might be the case, and I, I, I'd totally dig it. Honestly, like, I would want to fight Kiryu as a boss here rather than potentially fight him as a boss in Yakuza 7. Like, I'd rather fight him in this combat than turn-based combat, because that's just more exciting. Honestly, I feel like that's gonna happen. I feel, I feel like we're gonna be fighting Kiryu at some point. If not in this game, then in Yakuza 5 we're going to. But I feel like it would be this game because this is the first Yakuza game that doesn't have Kiryu as a sole protagonist. Kiryu for Tekken. I agree. Kiryu for Tekken. Lee San just went home and I finished totaling her sales for today. Just over half a million. That's amazing considering it's only your first day. It might help have some pointers. So this is how... Yo, that's genius, actually. He uses these guys to... Um make money for him at his hostess club and he gives them a percentage that's genius getting used to it yes but i'm worried about how much i made today do you want to know the actual number Five hundred thousand yen still leaves another two and a half million in only two days You're a very interesting man, Akiyama-san. You, you can say that again. Honestly, I love Akiyama. <laughs> Already, he's just such a good character. 
Now remember, this is 500,000 yen, not dollars. So I think that equates to 5,000? Right? Is that right? I think that's right. 5,000 US dollars. It might be a test, but I hope you succeed from the bottom of my heart. Plus, I know you're not going to just take failure laying down. Not that much money on the line. It's more like it. Just don't stress about it. Yeah, don't stress about it. You only need two and a half more million yen <laughs> within the next two days. No pressure. Because you're worth it. Yo, this is some middle school talk. Remember the date we were on earlier? Let's just call this part two. <laughs> just keep me company for a while, oh my lord. A bar that I've heard around in the Champion District. It's not Serena, is it? It's not. This is the worst romantic dialogue since Attack of the Clones. I wouldn't say it. I wouldn't go that far. That was fine. You know, I feel like Akiyama's at least a fan of sand, you know? Okay, also, there it is. I'm so glad that Kung Fu mentioned that because that was bugging me so much. And I was like, I swear it was there. I swear it was. And I don't know what happened to it. And you like Attack of the Clones. That is actually a very interesting opinion. I just think Attack of the Clones is just really boring. Yeah, you, well, you, you gotta keep up with me, lady. Jeez. So does anyone have any interesting plans for the weekend, or at least like the following week? How small it's in comparison nowadays. Dude, like the, these graphics actually look really nice. Oh, driving test, good luck, Garrett. If you have snow around your area, especially be careful. Chores, yikes. Why are men always so busy looking upwards? What? <laughs> I was doing chores the other day. Like, I have been on, like, a somewhat, like, depressive spell and, like, anxious spell. And I don't know why, but for some reason on, uh, I think it was, like, Tuesday, I was like, I'm just gonna just clean the shit out of this house and then I did and it was awesome I had to shovel the snow really ah that's right yeah people still come for a loan strangers and I never really cared about it before yo money sucks I was just thinking about this the other day money sucks the dance is at 67%. Oh, wow, we're almost there. We are almost there, boys. Boys and girls, we are almost there. Akiyama! Really putting the moves on her. <laughs> I love this guy. He put the moves on her! <laughs> Akiyama, this is your client! What are you doing? She's dead. 
We we all know we all know at this point now she's dead. She's gonna die. It just happens in a Yakuza game. Dump me flat on my ass. <laughs> also, for those of you that may have forgotten, I will just remind you, um, Akiyama was homeless and broke until the Millennium Tower explosion where all of the money dipped and that's how he started his business. Honestly, like, I fucking wish. I wish that a vacated building around my area would explode as I'm happening to walk by it, and it just rains money. And I think that'd be even great because I wouldn't even have to, like, tax any of it. All right, I'm gonna... Let me just... I was invulnerable during that, that's cool. Yeah, I feel like I gotta take him out first because of the gun. Ow. Yo, that was cool. I wonder. Oh, I have zero, that's fine. Okay, he has the most, actually. Oh, he has a gun, too. Okay. Can I pick... Thank you. That works. Uh, is there another weapon around here? Yep, here we go. I didn't want that one. I wanted this guy. Let me just, uh... There we go. Look at that. There's a potential we'll get to 70% today. <laughs> I love their really weird runs. As much as I hate to say, we should probably call it a night. <laughs> Just because he's gonna run into more of them. Jeez. Are we at the end of the chapter already? If this is the last chapter, well, if this is the end of the chapter, then, yeah, chapter four. I think this is the last Akiyama chapter. Already, we're at the last Akiyama chapter, I think. Mm. Not in the slightest, I see. Told you Q's got the entire clan looking for him. I'm sure it won't be long before they find him. Serve him up to those UNO bastards on Silver Platter if we don't do something fast. Yeah, things aren't looking so hot. Yeah, Reaping, we, we went through this fast. Oh, yeah, and I think Akiyama is under police protection, if I remember correctly. Pretty much, but he, look, Ariana-san's a smart guy. He knows he isn't about to... Whether you can prove or not he's innocent, that's why he's gone into hiding. So what do we do? I don't know, kiddo. Bruh, I really love how Akiyama just doesn't value money at all. He just does not give a shit. <laughs> I like it. 
It's an investment. Oh yeah, also, um... Akiyama... Well, no, Akiyama's friend shot a guy. Also, I think Akiyama's voice actor voices Dante as well. Isn't that right? あ、今さんが金庫に。ああ。今から5年くらい前の話だ。6年くらい前までの俺の人生は綺麗な階段を汗 首になったんだよ。なんかやらかしたんですか。業務上横領。つまり会社の金をこっそり盗む話。Oh ちょうかい面白。さあ、アキアマ because <laughs> that's not fishy. <笑><笑><笑><笑> じゃあ、どうやって金貸しなんてやれるほどの大金手に入れたんですか拾ったんだよ。はだからさ、お金が… <笑> だいたい100万くらいだったかな。死に物狂いで拾い集めたよ。この金さえあれば、俺はもう一度人生をやり直せる。The big man up there was giving me another shot at life. I love it。運がいいんだか悪いんだか分かんねえ感じですね。まあな。だがその時の俺にとって、その100万円は命と同じくらい大切な金だった。だがそんな大事な金を子供あろうに俺は盗まれちまったんだ。I guarantee that Kiryu is going to be shown up uh, last. It's probably what's going to happen. Oh, 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 ホームレスの俺にわざわざ届けてくれたんだ。どうしてそんなこと。荒井さんは涙を流して喜ぶ俺に言ったよ。俺がこの町を変えてみせます。兄貴。俺は。兄貴。兄貴。兄貴。兄
Unless it meant to, uh, unless it was roughly translated to Kamarocho jungle. I have a dream. Yeah, I would love to hit the rich. Just a little bit. Yo, there's like this random strand of hair that's like coming down this way. Now it's bugging me. I need to like. Did, is it shit? <laughs> what? Can I like pull this back into like here or something? There we go. Oh, what is this? Garrett, I'm concerned. Oh, Senator Armstrong's I have a dream speech. <laughs> it's going to make the mother of all omelets. As a mind of its own. Yeah, it's always like that one little freaking strand that just keeps getting in the way. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda want a suit like Akiyama's now. I have like the top of a white suit for Kiryu, but now I just really want a suit like Akiyama's. Because I feel like he dresses more like a reasonable person would, you know? Like, no, no person in their right mind would dress in an all white suit. With a red button down. I feel like this is a little more reasonable. That's Anna Chan, right? Yeah, I think it's Anna. Oh, it's Hana. Try three days ago. <laughs> Terry Crews is a Twitch account? That sounds about right. That bar in the champion district. Well, there's no time like the present. <laughs> You know, it's kind of unfortunate that Akiyama only gets two games, but maybe he only needs two games. Because I'm just making a safe assumption that Yakuza 6 is purely just Kiryu. Lily showed up for work, if you have time to spare, you should come and give her some pointers. But I better pop by and see. Oh no. <laughs> Hanachan is going to be very disappointed in Yakiyama. Guarantee of everything's buzzing. Why well, not go see what you're saying? He's grow. We recommend our foolproof principal protected forex plan. You would literally have nothing to lose. Interested parties are invited to join in one of the CEO's forex info seminars. Huh? <laughs> God, there's like three different things that I can do. All right, let's go to upgrades. What is this? That's okay. Combo speed boost. What is that? Double kick. A quick sub executed during a heat rush. Ooh, I like that actually. I want more of this. 
Speaking of Terry Crews. Jeez. Ba -ba 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 power. I think my favorite Terry Crews video or meme is like the video of Terry Crews' Doomfist. Terry Crews totally, totally should have been Doomfist. I think that would have been hilarious. As in like Overwatch Doomfist. And that guy is chasing after me. But he's not going to get me. Yeah, take that. Not gonna lie, though, I wouldn't really mind doing some side quests with Akiyama. But I don't know. What? Hold on. Is... No, that's not it. The fire... Huh? Aha, here we go. I must go salt the driveway and make dinner. Alrighty, Emily, it was nice seeing you again. Er, talking to you again. I can't technically see you. Have fun. I will have a happy streaming. Or at least I will try to. I'm still very tired from work. Yeah, I, um... Yeah, I took, uh... Well, I barely slept last night. Had work. Um, and work was, um, work was pretty good, but, like, it was just a lot of stuff. Oh, I did something cool at work today. Um, I did a muscle-up for the first time after, like, a million years. So if you don't know what a muscle-up is, a muscle-up is basically where you, like, you're, like, hanging off of, like, say, like, um, like a pull-up bar. You pull yourself up. You use your strength to like go to the side this way and then you pull up this way. Dude, I have been trying to fucking do a muscle up since I was like 15. And I just couldn't figure out how to do it or have the strength to do it. So like we were running up against the wall, right? Like r we ran up a wall, grabbed onto the, the, the monkey bar pole. And like I pulled myself up and even like with like the assisted like monkey bar like on the wall, it was like such a pain in the ass dude so like i um i eventually got it i was able to like pull it but once i got to this position i just used all of my muscle strength just to like pull myself up and i like felt something like click in my shoulder as i was doing it and like once i clicked it like i didn't feel anything and i wasn't sure if it was like an adrenaline rush i get down and, like, my shoulder and my neck is, like, really, really sore. And I was like, oh, man, I probably pulled something because i never done that before. And then, like, five minutes later, it went away. So I was like, I feel like I, like, unlocked something in, like, my shoulder or, like, my, like, prowess. It, it's like I, like, legit just upgraded IRL. It's literally like I just took a bunch of soul points and just upgraded my body IRL. And I just did it another three times with, like, complete ease. Oh my god, I felt... It was so great. It was so great, and then I took the best nap afterwards. <laughs> After I set up my COVID vaccine appointment, of course. Should have made a TikTok about it. I probably would have if this wasn't, like, literally in the middle of class. <laughs> Oh my god, it was like, it was such a pain in the ass to like, eventually do. I've been trying to do it for years, man. I got my front flip back after not working on it forever. I'm working on my side flip again. Um, consistently going up um, one rung on the salmon ladder each time. Shit. Oops. <laughs> Get a feel for your customers from a walk around the club and return to the break room coordinator your host to put the idea on. TikTok isn't really cringe anymore. It's like really adjusted to like what you want to do. Lily Chan has a ton of customers requesting her.
This is like the weirdest hostess club that I've seen so far. Or the weirdest hostess club minigame that I've seen so far. Would you like questions on how to run your club, sir? Who the hell do you think I am? I want to return to the break room just to see. Um... Looks on, looks are C, hello? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to. All right, um. Accessories, or actually, outfit selection. I really wish that it would just in your eyes. tell me. Let's go with that. Let's go with... Oh, actually, no, 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 no. I like type one better. Eyeliner, now we're good, we're good, we're good. This feels weird. Yeah, I don't like this. I feel like this this minigame isn't really as refined. Fuck. Okay. I feel like they're they're just getting their footing with the hostess gloves here. But I want to try Monster Hunter World. Nah, man. I actually have Monster Hunter World on PS5. I just want to be. I just wish that it would actually, like, like, tell me. Like, how I'm doing. Watches, ew. Bracelets, also ew. Yeah, cause like, she still has like the exact same sats. I feel like I didn't really do it do anything honestly did you have a favorite monster fight I do not oh well you give me all of this stuff afterwards that's whack I don't because I'm not really a monster hunter guy or really like a monster fighting guy in general Bra! Legit, like the fuck? So literally, like what? Who possesses refinement and modesty? I prefer a laid-back, refined girls. Okay, Missy, let's go back and turn you into a laid-back and refined hostess. I guess. Oh, I'm mad. Sexy and cute. Seductive and elegant. Alright. You look very laid-back, alright? I'm literally just going to revert everything back to where it was, just see what happens. Like 
If her stats go down, I swear to God. <laughs> Whatever. Aha, yes. I changed her dress and that automatically makes her more refined. Sure. There we go. Lily-chan has a lot of customers requesting her. I literally just changed the dress. Nothing like a girl with culture. <laughs> just swaps her out. Wow, she has no culture. A refined woman is like a unicorn. They simply don't exist these days. Well, apparently, five minutes ago, they didn't fucking exist. But all I had to do was make a simple dress change and wow, she's so refined. Isn't she so refined, guys? Look at how refined she is. Look at how refined she is. She wasn't refined five minutes ago, but I sure changed that. I'm out of here. Fuck this. Tomorrow we get uh, a Snyder Cut trailer. Oh, y'all know what really grinds my gears? Actually, like literally, like now that now that you now that you mentioned that, I just thought about this. You know what grinds my gears? Trailers for trailers. Trailers for trailers are just the dumbest fucking thing. It's like the Snyder Cut trailer has like has had like five fucking days worth of trailers. That's like, in five days, we're gonna get the trailer to the Snyder Cut. And then the next day, in four days, we're getting the trailer to the badass Snyder Cut. In three days, we're getting the badass trailer to the Snyder Cut. In two days. Oh, that guy's not very healthy looking. I bet he saw the Snyder Cut trailer. What's the matter? You're sweating like crazy. He hit 20 restaurants in a single day. I like how they bow towards each other. That's what I do, actually. When I talk to someone, I bow towards them, like, at the end of the conversation. They say an empty stomach is the best condiment, but empty or full hardly matters to us pros when it comes to reviewing a given dish. There goes my stomach again. Yeah, sure, why not? I don't know why, I just haven't really been as invested in the side missions as I normally am. I think maybe like in my off time, I'll probably go back to all the games and do them. But like, I don't know. Just not really as interested in them this time around. Like, the same thing happened with uh, Yakuza 3, for sure. I did a couple of them in 2, but... Yakuza 3 especially, I just did not want to do any side quests at all. No response. Yakuza 3 was alright, I just didn't really like the way that the game was made. Drama Queen. Hello. 
Aha. Uh -huh. I, I know you guys can't see it, so I'll just... Uh-huh. Oh, whoops. You were taking a mighty long look at Drama Queen there. Oh, you naughty boy. Please don't call me a naughty boy. My name's Akiyama. I know this girl used to work here, that's all. But he's straight as an arrow, says he only dates real girls. Not the most openly minded guy in the world. Nope, but hey, forget him. Come have a drink over where I work. I'll give you a stiff one on the house. <laughs> Jeez. Are we sure he's not the naughty one here? Listen! <laughs> Ari fans. <laughs> Yikes. What the? Oh. Oh. Um... Why does it feel like I'm missing something? What? Lighters with the bar's name on it. They probably hand them out to customers. What? I've looked at everything. Oh, never mind. Was that actually everything? What the- it's the Akiyama. <laughs> I was gonna say. That was like literally everything. Oh god. No, Okama, um, I'm- I'm good. I'm good, actually. I legit thought I was about to hi I was about to have to fight this person. I legit thought that they were gonna be like, oh well, I'm gonna kick your ass. I was like, yo, please don't. <laughs> also, what is with this like L N L.A. Noir sounded music? This is cool. Excuse me. Oh, come. I did not step on your foot, dude. I didn't even get a chance to run away. Also, what was that thing that I actually quite literally just got? See ya. Come here. Bro, I love Akiyama's style so much. He's so cool! Yeah, take that. That's what you get for lying, you scumbag. Also, what is this? Oh no, that's to go down, that's right. God, like, this music is just so cool, honestly. Ah, <sighs> 
ちょっと花ちゃん大変だよ。花ちゃん、ノー花ちゃん花ちゃんしっかりしろ社長お帰りなさい。I didn't collect the debt from that one guy, actually. それが。I will fucking fight anyone who mess with Hanachan. Oh, Kido-san! Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just going to go to the store. Oh, sorry. I'm just going to go to the store. I'm just going to go to the store. Yeah, no, I wasn't. I absolutely was not. I'm just going to go to the store. I'm just going to go to the store. I'm just going to go to the store. What are you doing? Did you forget anything? Yeah. ちょっと秋山さんに確認し忘れたことがあって携帯にかけたんですけどつながらなくてああそうでしょう I was too busy、um, turning Lily into a refined young woman I guess おかげで仕事が片付かない片付かない秋山さんらしいですね Oh, aren't you guys the most antagonistic looking antagonists ever? Oh my god, Hana really threatened them! <laughs> Fuck, dude. Yo, I'm gonna kill him last. It was some guy named Midorikawa. He kept telling me stuff I didn't even ask about. Also saw our client registry. He was just borrowing it, but I seriously doubt he'll be bringing it back anytime soon. What the hell? Go get him, Chief. All right. Let's go kick some ass. Oh, hello, energetic foreigner. It's Mac! Guys, it's Mac! Literally just out of nowhere, Mac is back. He was the dude from Yakuza 3 who, like, had the blog posts and told Kiryu about making blogs. And he was like, yo, Kiryu-chan! There's this weird girl doing karate on people over out on the streets! <laughs> it's- it's Mac! Stuff hey. dude, your time. Nice! I fucking love Mac. These scary looking dudes were filing down on the street one after the other. It looks like the world's least cheerful conga line. Oh, Mac. It's Mac! I'm so happy! Yep, looking for the perfect shot. Oh, God. Revelations. <laughs> oh, good old revelations. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. Oh. But I caught a glimpse of something good. Yes. <laughs> A 
All you gotta do is whip it out. Your phone, I mean. Oh my god, I remember this. Ah, shit. Unbelievable. You know, that girl was actually kind of cute. <laughs> Three shots, hello? Yeah. Oh. Ten K G Street. Uh, what do we call that? We call that, you know, that girl was actually kind of cute. <laughs> We have a kidnapper who's taken to the rooftops. You can also see a sexy detective facing off against the kidnapper in question. For number two, a married couple wages a bitter war in Little Asia. I should ask the people around here for... What? But Mac literally said it was on... Tenkaichi Street. Right? Shouldn't that be... Hold on. Mac, I swear to God. Mac's gone. Mac, what the hell? But you know what? This is actually kind of cool. Oh, wait a minute. Is it, it, wait, isn't this the same? Yes, yeah, it's, it's the same one, what? Oh, look, we get to watch this again. What the fuck? I, gu I guess we get to try again? That's interesting. Maybe my, uh, maybe my caption just wasn't funny enough. But hey, at least we get to see this guy again, right? Unbelievable is what this is. Oh, 
reaping, how would you describe this? More importantly, how would the eight ball describe this? Those leaps and bounds were something else. <laughs> Anything is possible as long as you believe in yourself. There we go. Essence of Triple Strike. Fantastic. Yo, it's actually really cool that we can go on the rooftops here in Kamurocho. I like this. Uh, this looks like a final boss-ish area. Um, so he said Tenkaichi Street. Right, okay, so that's just over there. Jackpot! <laughs> Theater Square. What? I know you don't like politics, but did you know that? I know. We're not talking about it. Garrett says hi, Amanda. I send like a hundred emails a day, so listen when I tell you keep your emails organized by folder. I wish you did Okay, so theater square. You mean those guys over there? Hey, Yakuza guy. Fucking what? <laughs> this random. Oh my lord. Hey, you. Come here. Where's my essence of triple strike? I wanted to do the essence of triple strike, the fuck? Maybe they all need to be. God, whatever. Bye bye. Tofu chan. <laughs> oh my lord, Tofu chan from uh, Resident Evil. Yeah, give me, give me your money, punk. I love how these guys tried to rob me, but then I just end up robbing them instead. Oop. 
How the hell do you know about that? Oh, hello, punks. Hello, Discount Kuzai. Yes. What did she do? I gotcha. Um, I mean, there was just a lot of cat hair that I had to remove. Oh my god, these guys have so much health. Ow. Let me just, uh, there we go. And bye bye uh, I wish I could upgrade more stuff. Funky camera angle. Yeah, get out of here, pugs. Yeah, get out of here, discount Kuze. I think it'd be really cool if they made an appearance in Yakuza 5 to try to get back at <laughs> get back Akiyama. Down below the theater. You can get there by going past the lockers. Went to the theater underground. I think that's where he's talking about. You gotta be kidding me. Me too, pal. I love how just talking to random people is getting me XP. Oh, there it is. Oh, you betcha. Sorry, no can't the fuck. Find the elevator at the back of the tower and you're golden. All right, elevator at the back of the tower. Right here, not nah, mate. <laughs> Oh, look at that. There's there's the convenient uh, convenient loading dock. Actually, wait a minute. Scolding glare. I love it. Essence of finishing. Okay, a quick step executed during a rush combo. Turquoise Spirit, Combo Rush, Bolt Crusher. The 
eight ball interrupted me. Wait, Reepik, what was your question? Also, really, now that I think about it, like, if, hypothetically speaking, like, my employers get pissed at me that I'm getting my vaccine on Tuesday and I can't come into work because I'm literally getting the COVID vaccine, I'll probably just say fuck it and just quit right there. Or not quit right there, but I'm gonna be like, yo, I'm not showing up to work tomorrow. Like, I'm telling you I'm not showing up. Well, I mean, like, I would want to use them as a reference, so, like, obviously, like, I'm not gonna, like, do anything, like, super disrespectful, like, obviously, I'm not gonna be, like, super disrespectful to them, but, like, I feel like, I feel like if there's any reason for me to, like, miss work, it would be to get the COVID vaccine. I think that's a pretty damn good reason. And I'd be getting, like, a couple of days, like, a couple of days notice, too. Like, I tried calling my manager today, and he didn't answer. But I'm gonna call him again tomorrow and be like, hey, like, I'm getting the vaccine on Tuesday, so I can't come into work on Tuesday. It's not like I'm saying I need to take, like, a week off, like, a couple days in advance. It's just one day. And it is for something very important. Oh, the eight, oh, I got you, Reefing. What do you want with the boss? Guess it's just one of those days. Why is that guy holding the knife like a baseball bat? Oh no. There we go, there's the triple strike. Yikes. <laughs> oh jeez, that's rough. That's her whole entire break. And her mom's like, my Bro, that was an easy as fuck fight. <laughs> so, but yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's not good. Ooh, that'd be nice. But I remember he tried calling me like two weeks ago when I was at work, and I was like, hey, I'm not gonna call me when I'm at work. I almost missed that. You should text me. This place is ours, Yakuza. Why are the homeless attacking me? I can take it from here. No way, I'm tagging along with you whether you like it or not. Okay, random homeless man. Let's fucking do this. <laughs> All right. All right, random homeless guy. I can't, what is this? Apparently. Oh shit. Oh shoot. What is this game? Amazing is what it is. Ooh, I like that. Let me just, uh... Oh yeah, you, you scared, boy? Better be. Shoot. 
Let me just, uh, real quickly, just, uh... Bye bye <laughs> Oh my god. Wait a minute, I'm just gonna... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Yeah, take that. <laughs> that was that was great. <laughs> you know, I think that my favorite part about Yakuza is that they like name every single NPC, but like they also there's like so many like mini boss fights of just these random ass goons. I'm gonna take this real quick and just, uh, oh. <laughs> fucking smash it over his face. No! Don't hurt my homeless friend! You son of a gun! Don't make me freaking use this sofa. You know what? Oh my god, they took my sofa. You know what? Get over here. Yeah, hold him still, old man! <laughs> Teamwork. This game is 10 out of 10. Um. He locked the door before he ran off. Okay, so we have to find another homeless man in order to, in order to, uh, this fucking game. <laughs> I'm gonna gain money while walking the fuck. I'm gonna eat this ramen real quick so I can just. Oh, look at that, there's another item down here. What? Yo! I like tomato pie and chickens. Okay. Bagok! Suksan! You scared the shit out of me! Hey, Mr. Locksmith man! Can you open up a lock? I mean, we, we, we cleared everybody. But buddy, buddy, like, oh, what? <laughs> uh, uh, I guess we didn't clear everybody, all right. All right, real quick, let me actually upgrade an ability real quick. Let's go with um, Downtown Boozer's Lore. An additional kick that follows a front kick. Double quick step. Triple finishing kick. Yeah, buddy. Oh, right in the kneecaps. Ooh. I'm gonna do that again. Ah, this fucking character, I swear to God. He's so cool. I'm gonna take this bat and kill this guy. Yeah, hold him still, <laughs> hold him still.
I'm gonna take this magazine and fucking kill someone with it. Yes, in fact, that is a door that is locked. Thanks, guy. I can't wait to use this magazine on someone. Yeah, take that. Oh, there's the sofa guy down there. Alright. I need the magazine. I need the magazine. Heat move with the magazine! I'm not gonna lie, that's the first time that I've seen him actually block something. Bro, I love how the couch guy is legit just a staple in all the Yakuza games. Ow. There we go. Yeah, take that. Let me just, uh... I'm pretty sure Boozer lore is if I'm drunk, which I don't really get that often in this game. Wow, he bounced back from that real quick. Oh my god. Homeless man, help! Did we all see? I did. I don't think it was as good intriguing as last episodes, but like, bruh. It's still such a good episode. I'm gonna take this beer bottle with me. Oh my god, really? Why do we need this? <laughs> Oh my god, he's really just holding him still. Ow. Oh my god, that does a lot more damage than I thought it would. Oh my god, another fucking door. I'm so confused, what? Is this Doc Brown? What is Doc Brown doing in Yakuza 4? I'm tagging in for the old guy. <laughs> I want to do the triple technique. Why is this technique like so specific? There we go. Ow. Yo, why is that? Doc Brown and the other homeless guy are literally just chilling in there waiting for me to do all the work. There we go. Dude, that was legit Doc Brown. <laughs> See this real quick and just uh
Beowulf combo B. Oh, he's still, like, very much alive. Oh my god, he got up really fast, too. Buh bye buh bye buh bye Thank you. For some heat actions, after using it many, many times, you may discover a new additional technique. Oh my god, that was so cool! I want to do that to someone! <laughs> Bro, that was so good. Thank you, homeless people, for all of your help. I'm gonna upgrade my abilities too while I'm at it. Pole crush, um, double guard, quick step. Taunt. May as well. Bro, this really is just Beowulf combo B at this point. I'm just gonna... Kido-chan! Akiyama-san! Hey, you're good. Thanks. I do good work. You heard the man, boss. What's it gonna be? You didn't lend us shit, you gave it to us. So you see, you can't ask for it back. That'd be just plain rude. <laughs> what? <laughs> just playing along with your little game. Okay, okay, buddy. Oh, he has a gun. Ow! You know what, you little shitbag? Get. Yeah, fuck you, guy. Wow, really? <laughs> okay. If you all insist, I'm gonna take this off for staring. Ooh! So he's dead. I'm gonna get over here. take this here large desk and fucking kill you. Bruh. Feel the heat, baby! Oh, fuck. Ah, that's not good. I want to retry.
I was gonna feel the heat! You know what, I, I, you know, buddy, I, I think that we, we may be going too far in a few places. Don't, don't, don't you agree? Fuck. Yo, this just isn't fucking fair. What? And I just lunged an office desk at him. All right, I got it. Oh my God, no, come on. All right, let me just uh, take this here bumper and... I don't even know what a car bumper is even doing in here, but you know what, sure. Yakuza, am I right? <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, this guy really thought he was gonna get away with that. Wait, what? Yes! Akiyama, smack him good! Alright, uh, let's see what we got in here. Uh, what do we got in here? This man really tried to kill me Texas Chainsaw Massacre style. Nah, don't mention it. You know I'm no good at all that sentimental crap. Yeah, Hada Chan couldn't even stop those guys. Excuse me. Jack Baker style, exactly. Well,. I almost just got murdered by some maniac with a chainsaw. I guess I better go back to the office. Because that makes the most sense. I kind of wish there was a more convenient fast travel, to be honest. But well, that's fine. Yo, I think Amanda made something, and it smells really fucking good. But she, like, heated something up anyways. But now I'm hungry again. She has to sell a total of three million in three days. I just drop by and see if she has any points. What? You literally made me walk all the way back here just so I could walk all the way back over. What? Yeah, cause it please. Why do you make me do this? <laughs> like there isn't even a cutscene on if like Hanachan is okay. It's just hey, go back and chill in your office for a bit. Gets back into office. I should check on my client and see how she's doing. As you literally punching everything as Chris? I already punched everything as Chris. Literally, that's exactly where I fucking was. And it made me run all the way back to the office for no reason. That's annoying. You probably have some random information for me. I love how this random information just randomly gives me money. Or not even money experience points. Yo, no, get away. I know what you want. You wanna fight me? I am not interested. The end of Zoe one. Cosmic was telling me that end of Zoe was 
honestly better than um than Chris's DLC. Okay, I gotta train my hostess. I'm going to give you talking tips. Yes, you could use help on how to talk to people, I guess. Yeah, talking, talking tips. I literally just talked to her the fuck. <laughs> if I ever become a manager of anything and I have to fucking train my my employees, I'm going to look at them dead ass in the face and be like, "Hey, I we need to tell you how to talk to people." Boss, what the fuck are you doing? I don't know. I saw this in a video game, man. I don't know what to tell you. Why didn't I shack up with a smooth-talking girl like you? I'm done surveying the room. I'd rather listen to you than my wife. All she does is drone on and on. She seems to be doing fine. Like, what What more do I have to do for her? You're ruining my confidence. Please don't talk to me. <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to talk to her about trivia drills. No matter what the conversation, it's always important to be smart. Knowledge is power. Right. I'm ready to learn. You're doing very well. You're such such a good teacher. Oh, she's very stressed. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to not do anything. To get Virgil's motivation up, all you gotta do is just put him in a dress. Oh, she's getting a ton of people requesting her anyways. Let's survey the room some more. Wow, you're a smooth talker. Yeah, 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 keep talking! Keep talking! Oh boy! I wanna know who the fuck says that. Yeah, yeah, keep talk- ow! What was that for? I lightly pressed it again. It was thing. cold! It doesn't matter how light it was, it was cold! I just wanted you to stop that. It made me uncomfy. It's like, yeah, keep talking. Stop it. Keep talking. Stop it. That's what they're saying in the I game. I know, but you don't have to say it. I can hear it from the living room. All right, now we're going to talk about free time. AJ, she looks fucking miserable. Oh, God, she does. Just give him someone's arm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Free time is to reduce stress. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, the bags under her eyes look a little less baggy. Oh, shit! Her stress bar was through the roof. Yeah, Lily, just take, like, a five-minute texting break. 
See how you do. Or for an hour nap. I take four hour naps. I took one today. Why didn't I shack up with a smooth talking girl like you? Sigh, my marriage is a wreck. This, I hate all of this. I also hate all of this. Yeah, yeah. Keep talking, keep talking. This is the worst cabaret club I've ever had the pleasure of going to. I've taught you everything I know. <laughs> I've taught you everything I know about trivia and free time and fucking talking points and looks 101. <laughs> I've taught you everything I know about looks 101. Well, I've done all I can do. I, I swear to God, I if this game makes me go back to Sky Finance just to go back to this fucking club again, I'm probably gonna lose it. I probably will. So I realized you took my PlayStation and I got a little sad. What? No, I didn't. Or is that your PlayStation? This is my PlayStation. Oh, I thought just because I couldn't watch it. Let's put it in. Oh, and I made chicken and mashed potatoes. That smelled so delicious. I heard you from the living room. I'm sure you did. You're louder than you think you are. Thanks. I love you still. I brought you ginger ale though. Yay. And I'm eating the last croissant. No! Yes! No croissants. Yes. So how did Lily Chan do? She made four million yen. Wow. That's not that much, right? Or is it? She decided to... The answer to that ain't pretty. <laughs> she has a rare tap for keeping customers happy. Hey, Lily Chan, I heard you did well. Yes, and it's all thanks to you. And your, all of your tips on talking points in trivia knowledge. Without your guidance, without your guidance on looks 101 and talking points in trivia points and using a half hour of free time on my phone, I never would have gotten this far without you, Akihaba-san. Thank you. Thank you so much. Jesus. The roof to Millennium Tower. Yes. Let's go to the roof of Millennium Tower. If you don't fucking teleport me there, oh my god. Do you want to know where fucking Millennium Tower is, guys? I'll fucking show you. This, like right here, I believe, is where the fucking club was. Like, what? Where was it? It was like this area right here. This was where the fucking club was. This is where fucking Millennium Tower is. So what did I just fucking say? I fucking said that if it made me go all the way back to Sky Finance to go back to that club, I would lose my mind. And instead, it makes me go across the street. That is fucking whack. This game is so funny. I'm laughing on the outside, but dying on the inside very slowly. I can promise you that. I'm stopping for fucking ice cream before I do this. Give me some fucking ice cream. Give me all of your fucking ice cream. Give me all of your fucking gelato. I'm gonna have more fucking gelato. I'm literally gonna take all of your fucking gelato. What? Akiyama, you can never have more than enough gelato. What are you doing? 
Now that I have been filled with gelato, I'm gonna run back to this place. Oh yeah, take that guy. I'm taking my frustrations out on these people. I'm gonna talk to this person right here. Level up, baby. I'm gonna level up real quick. Is there anything that I can use for four, actually? Double kick. Actually, dodge combo plus. Thank you. Oh, cat. Oh, hello there, random security guard who just let me waltz into Millennium Tower. Well, guys, since we're heading to the roof of Millennium Tower, this clearly means that Lily is actually the final boss of the game. <sighs> Excuse me. ええ、来たね。時間通り。君なら約束を果たしてくれると思っていたよ。秋山さん。秋山、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、
Here we go. Yeah, well, of course it was her. Of course it was her. あのライター。ライター。そう。君が初めてうちの店に来た時に持ってたライター。あれだよ。あのライター、大女優って店のだったでしょ。そのこと聞いて。It was so obvious that she did it though. Honestly, I'd be more surprised if she didn't do it. 女装バーだったんだよ。知ってた? 店のキャストは全員男だったんだよ。だから君が働いていたというのはおかしい。なら君は一体いつ。I mean, she's gonna explain why she did it right now. きっと店長を殺した時だよね。現場で死んでいた男の上着には柴田組の大門がついていた。A big fat Shibata crest. 最初は柴田組の犯行かと思ったけど。違ったみたいだね。この前君とデートしてる時に襲ってきた柴田組の連中。あれも俺じゃなくて、実は君を狙っていたんだろう。君、本当は何者なの？柴田組とはどういう関係なのかな？Come on, Lily. Don't play us like this. Hmm? Ah, so it Oh, shit. <laughs> Yikes! Biggest of yikeses. Biggest of yikeses. So, yeah, I'll see you next time. Yes. I understand. Then, when everything is done, I'll pay you to the store again. Yes. So, we'll have another, like, three campaigns to figure out why. Yeah, she's just leaving. She's just, she just left like that. She'll probably be back by the end of the game. I'm kind of hoping that the finale, though, isn't just Kiryu. It's like, you get to play as all of them in the finale. Oh, I'm honestly surprised that there's more. They'll release me soon. Okay, I should probably head back to my favorite place on Earth. Sky Finances. There's a matter that needs... Would you mind coming by the club? Thank God. Please tell me that I can just go here first. We just don't have enough girls. There's a lot of competition out there in Kamurocho. Everyone is looking for girls. Well, good luck.
The game store will not advance while you are recruiting girls for the club. Walk on the streets until you find a girl you like. Oh my god. Okay. I shouldn't have done this. Hey, you look like a girl. Nope, I guess not. Um, hello, miss. Would you like to be a part of my club? My exclusive club? No. Hello, miss. Um, what about you, good sir? Okay, um, uh, alright. I just knocked that guy flat on his ass. I thought I killed him. Okay, no, he's still alive. That's, that's fine. Okay, in front of Millennium Tower... to no prevail. Shit. Hello, miss. Alright, fine. You know what? Uh, I don't have time for this. Gotta scout some first I stop recruiting. Stop recruiting, please. The cabaret, the cabaret club isn't really as interesting in this game. Like the cabaret, like mini game section, isn't as interesting. The other one is way better. Do I have new abilities? No, I don't. That guy was wearing a Naruto headband. Not like really a Naruto headband, but it was almost. I thought that weird guy was gonna be one of Max minigames. Boy. Boy! What do you want? Yeah, that's what I thought. Bitch. Okay. Y'all, I am tired, dude. I took like an hour nap and it did not help. Really shouldn't mess with people like that. You didn't loan her the whole thing at once. Don't be mad, but somehow I don't think we'll be seeing that money again. <laughs> Told me she'd pay it back, but I get the feeling that's not gonna happen. Last I checked, this is my company. I can lend money to who I want, when I want. Fucking yikes. So, where is she? Oh, God! Hanachan, wait! Do I have to tackle her? Hanachan, get back here! What the hell is even happening? Hanachan! <laughs> Bruh, she ran just as fast as the small child. I think that much to a total stranger just playing crazy. I know the real reason you did it. See the sass in her hips? Arisan. The splitting image of your ex comes walking through the front door. Jeez.
Don't you Hana Chan me. Or did you forget that she left you for another man the minute you got fired? It was never about you. She was only in it for the money. Do I get credit for at least trying? Wow, she's still quitting? She's been with me for eight years. Oh my god. About my feelings for you. I knew it. I knew she, I knew she had feelings for Akiyama-san. Thank goodness, some seriously shitty customers just showed up. They look like Yakuza. Running a hostess club can be a real pain sometimes. I wonder if he does this with all of his clients. Like, that's actually a really good way to make business. Because she wanted a hundred thousand yen, but she made them like a four million yen profit. So basically, like, he just pretty much paid her for like what she would have worked, you know? Oh my god, wait a minute, that's right. I have quick step cancels! Quick step cancels, that's so cool. Okay, yeah, I'm going to the club, that's right. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> so Amanda and I were thinking about what movie we should watch tomorrow for Valentine's Day. And, um... I can't remember if we actually, like, decided on what we wanted to rent. But we normally, like, watch something, like, horror-related on Valentine's Day. Surprisingly. Except for last year. Last year we watched Sonic the Hedgehog. Which, if it was the uh, the old Sonic the Hedgehog movie, then like, yeah, that would have been a fucking horror movie. It's fucking Majima. Oh. That's not Majima. I was like, who who else would it have been? This is like a Majima knockoff, and holy shit, that tattoo. <laughs> I'm sorry. His goods look so miserable. Akiyama looks so miserable. If we don't clap, we're gonna die! Yay! Who's the owner of Akiyama? The owner of Akiyama is... I'm the Majima Gumi's boy. I'm the boy. Oh, it is fucking Majima's boy.
So he is. I was close. I was close. So the ano Kamurocho Hills Kenses ni karanderu tojou kai no dai kanpo. So yo. Ano majimagumi. Oh, just a minute. Yeah, he's literally just discount Majima from the Majima clan. ブラ、セクダッジ。送信ボタン押したつもりだったんですが、押し間違っちゃったみたいで。うん。申し訳ない。暗かったもんで、つい。暗かったからつい押し間違えた。アキヤバ。その話、ほんまやね。ですから、ア
Yeah, that didn't do anything for me. Uh... Feel the heat! Feel the heat! Come on, I can get the perfect. I got the perfect! Oh my lord, really? I got a perfect, guys. That's my first Yakuza perfect on a boss fight, I think. Wow. That fight was way too easy. It's the man himself. There he is. Who could forget a face like that? この恩地から聞いとるかもしれんが、リリッチ女を探しとる。ここにおるんやないのか？彼女はもうここにはいませんよ。どこに行ったかも知りません。そっか。はあ。遅かったっちゅうことか。リリに一体何の用ですリリは柴田組に追われていた。まさか真島さん。あんたもそのことに関係しているんですかそうなんか。ファシネイト。柴田組が。教えてください、真島さん。リリーは一体何者なんですか？なぜあんたたちに追われなきゃならないんですか？あいつはやすこちゃんは俺が守らなあかんねや。やすこ。やすこ。リリーの本名ですか？ なんであなたが守る必要があるんですかそれが俺の償いやからや。25年前のあの日のな。Back in 85? Wow, we fucking did it. All the way back in goddamn 85. <clears throat> Was that before zero? the hell is that? Oh, Yodai. Oh. Ah, Majima-san. Oh, well, would you... Yep, yeah, this is before Zero. Majima-san, まだ4月やっていうのにないやねんなこの暑さは。え、何や、30度もあるらしいわ。ほんま、この国がぶっ壊れとんのとちゃうか。この国。Well, was the 80s, Garrett. これがいわゆる環境破壊っちゃっち
his zero hair, even though it's um, before he got his eye cut off. A watermelon! <laughs> I want to know what's up. <clears throat> okay, so that's her. That's Lily. Let's <clears throat> So, so this is obviously our second playable character. Now, who are you? ほかにもいい方あるやろ。俺ら二人明日から長いお勤めや。最後の別れくらいちゃんとしとった方がええで。いらんそんなもん。縁起でもない。おい。それより例のあれ持ってきたんやろな。Yeah, bring him. You bring the drugs, Majima-san. Yeah, I did. It's in the watermelon. Oh, shit. まがいもんは一切なし。同時まぐみ経由で仕入れた正真正銘の本物や。拳銃は全部で6丁。1丁につき6発撃てるとして、三十六発か。相手は上野義春とその場にいる清和会の連中全員。何人くらいになりそうえ？十人弱ってとこやろな。I Dude, it's so weird seeing Majima with two eyes. I'm sorry. <laughs> the stash is also really throwing me off, too. Okay, so something weird that I just noticed was that, like, they blurred the background, but they had this guy's hair, like, not blurred, like, it was in, like, the foreground, but, like, the particles around him included the wall in the background, and it wasn't, it was just weird, it just looked really weird. They're, they'll probably do it again. Bro. Huh? お前、人が真剣に喋ってる時に俺は覚悟できとるよ。俺もお前と同じ。ささいの親父のためやったら何でもやる。So, それ called him bro. I don't think they're brothers. But maybe blood brothers? Saejima Taiga ちゅう男が Wait a minute. Saijima. Wait, that's Saijima? That's Saijima. 
Because I've heard of that name before. In, like, the general Yakuza lore. But I... The Saejima that I've seen is bald. Is this Saejima, but with really, really long hair? さあ、さあ、ゆみの最島へ。今、マジマと待ち合わせの時間なんやけど、あいつ来えへんね。ああ、そうや。ちょっとそっちで。切った。ああ、もうええ。切るで。10人以上おるやないか。Oh god, is he going to take him out? Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Saijima, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. Saijima, what? Yo, this is some desperado shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Saijima, what are you doing right now? Dude, he is straight up fucking massacring everybody. All of those shots and you hit him once, really? Sajima, you're you're almost out of bullets, pal. Dude. Oh no, he's still alive. Fucking moron! Are you serious? You have the opportunity to shoot him in the back of the head, and you shot him in the shoulder, dude. He deserved that one. No cap. <laughs> Oh my god. So Majimo was supposed to be there for this too, but he just slaughtered that entire family. Holy shit.
Wow. Yo, what an intro. Holy shit. A few hours after the attack, Saejima of the Tojo clan is arrested for murder after surrendering to the police. Police suspect the attack to be part of the feud between the powerful Tojo clan and the adversary, the Ueno Siwa clan. Executive involvement of both clans is investigated as police begin interrogation of Saejima. However, Saejima maintains his silence throughout the interrogation. Unable to establish a direct link to the Tojo clan, police conclude that the incident was a one-man job. Saejima is sent to the prosecutor's office. A few months later, 20-year-old Saejima is given the death penalty for the murder of 18 members of the clan and is immediately transferred to the Tokyo Penitentiary. Decades later, on March 1st, 2010, after 25 years of waiting his execution, Saejima suddenly issued a transfer order. Kid, basically, he's been in jail for 25 years. I wonder if, I mean, he's obviously going to escape, but I'm wondering how. Bruh, I wouldn't be fucking taunting a guy that killed 18 people. Sokuji What makes two and three? Um, remakes. Aren't you Saejima? Literally the entire prison just stares. <laughs> oh god. I'm not a hitman. I said I am no hitman. Oh god, fucking... What? Hunter. Bruh, let the man eat his soup in peace. Kamisama <laughs> Oh? <laughs> 
Also, why would you give these guys real knives? And he just literally kicked a table. Resident Evil 2 Raccoon City. I guess so. Alright, alright, Saijima, let's fucking do this. Yeah, Nairo, it's Saijima time! He looks like I'm used to bald Saijima. Like, I know who bald Saijima is, so I was like really confused on who this guy was at first. And Majima was like, Saijima, and I'm like, wait, wait, what? This is, this is Saijima? Let's fucking do this, dude. Alright, hold down. Oh my god, really? Oh my god, what? Uh, do I have any heat moves? I don't. Jeez, dude, he hits like a fucking tank! I don't know, man. I, like, it just seems like good old fashioned, like, Yakuza Kiwami 2 charge attacks. Dude, that felt so cool. <laughs> Bruh, Saijima fucked up, dude. Yikes. Oh. Well, that's not good. That's really not good. Bro, they fucking started it. They fucking started it. Also, I feel like Saijima could just easily break out of that hold, but you know, I'm not I'm not going to judge him. Bruh, I'm gonna charge attack you so hard. Three prisoners that have died under his watch. Wow. You know, that really shouldn't surprise me. Nairo, how have you been, dude? I hope you're having a good weekend so far. How's, uh, how's work been? You look oddly familiar, this guy. Why does he look familiar? Yo, got off work early, sick. Always a good feeling to get off work early. <clears throat> is it a, a salary job or is it like a pay by the hour kind of job? Because getting off earlier on a salary job is cool. Hey! Doing something for your sister. Calm down. No, you got to turn the light off afterwards. I, yeah, I will afterwards. 
Okay. Ah, so gotcha, gotcha. Turn the light off. This is why I get called a mom, like, every week. Yeah, true. Literally, because I'm just like... Also, I haven't heard back from, uh, from my manager yet. Well, maybe he has a light. Well, yeah, true, but, like, I'd, I'd rather not tell him that I have to take Tuesday off when I get in on Monday. Well, then it's his fault for not calling down. That's a good point. Because I'm not going to work on Tuesday. <laughs> I am not going to work on Tuesday. <clears throat> hey, do you want your Reese's heart? What does this kind? Uh, not yet. Okay. Well, do you want to watch TV afterwards? Yeah, I'll be getting off soon, don't worry. And you chose Medea, by the way. I just don't know which one. Oh, gotcha. One of the Medea movies. Mm hmm. To make the point to your sister. <clears throat> Hamazaki. Nairo, he looks so familiar. Honestly, like, he looks. And he's a part of the Tojo clan, too, so, like, I'm really trying to remember where he's from. He looks so familiar. He stabbed Kiryu at the end of Yakuza 3? Really? Why do I... Like, that's why I said he looks familiar. When when was this? Like, on, on top of Millennium Tower? Uh. Look on the map and you see some nameless correctional facility. It was in Kamarocho. I'm gonna have to go back and look. Oh shit! That's right! Oh! 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 Okay, okay, okay. Same face, different hair. Okay. That's- that's what- that's what wasn't clicking. It's the same face, it was the different hair. Gotcha. Okay. I'm so horrible with names sometimes. Now now it makes perfect sense. Bird a few guys over the last month. Official cause of death always ends up as illness some other random bullshit. I need your help with something. <laughs> oh, great. Are they both gonna break out? Bruh, he looks so stone cold. So he got a hair. He was forced to get a haircut, but not Saijima? What's that? I got a haircut, but not Saijima. I got a haircut, but not Saijima. I got a haircut, but not Saijima. I got a haircut, but not Mm -hmm. It's not even Valentine's Day, and I got you ring pops, I got you heart, and then I got oh, you, you know, I'm still getting spoiled. We still have to be mm -hmm. the definition uh, of being spoiled. So yeah. <laughs> I just took a practice test. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. I took a practice. I'm still unhappy. 
I mean, it's like, not too bad. No, you need like a 65 to a 70 to pass. Mm -hmm. But like, I'm to I want oh, more. Of course. I want to be like confident in myself. So he didn't kill the leader of the clan. Fuck. <laughs> So I want to know why he killed them, which will probably be explained. あんたの親父さんのせいなんだよ。親父の。あの25年前の事件の直後、佐々井の事業は事件の責任を取って急遽引退してしまった。so what so where was Majima? That's the other question that I want to know. Nande Nande Oyajua Sana Sasainga Kiachimata Imatuna to a Shinsua Wakara Daga Sasain Ojikino in ten year Kumiwa Kaisan. そして昇格したのは他でもないあの柴田組だ。柴田組。そう。笹井組と直系昇格。Oh, by the way, the uh Travis Strikes Again uh highlight video is uh almost done. 結局 I basically just need to like put like a bunch of final touches on it and then it's all set. Um, the thing about it though is that there were so many good moments that it was pretty full by the time that like I reached the DLC. I haven't even touched like the DLC portions of it yet and we had a lot of clips from the DLC. Um, so, I decided to just split it into two parts. Um, so what I wanted to do was I wanted to, like, release them, like, one, like, one, one week and then one, like, the next week. But I haven't even started the DLC portion yet because of how busy I've been. So, I guess it would go on to, like preference on like if i like i could just release it like within the next week but then it would take a lot longer for the dlc video to come out or i could work on the dlc video and then release that within like a couple of days to a week after um after the first video releases <laughs> And especially with everything going on in the next couple of weeks, like, I'm going to be busy as shit. So, I am not going to have as much time to work on it as I would like. He's just silent. So, Final Fantasy VII after. I don't know, Garrett. Only because of... Only because of the amount of shit that I gotta do. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get to Final Fantasy VII anytime soon. Because there's so much that I have... There's so much that I have to do. Like, Wednesday streams are gonna be cancelled for a while. Um, even on, like, Monday, I have to end early so that I can actually get my, uh, my, my COVID vaccine, like, the next day. Oh, yeah, I, I think I forgot to mention this, but, um, the only place that was available is two and a half hours away so and my appointment is at 8 15 in the morning so i have to wake up super fucking early in the morning drive two and a half hours to get my first shot and then drive back yeah actually now that i think about it i'm gonna i've been like periodically checking it to see um to see like uh like if more like a different spot is opened up or um if like a different um like if a different uh I guess facility came up. And I have to like resubmit the thing like every single time. So like I'm just gonna locate providers real quick. 
Yep, no appointment, no appointment, no appointment, no appointment, no appointment. And there are appointments available in one place that's two and a half hours away. Yeah, there's more available for, like, tomorrow now, and then, um, 16th, mine is on the 16th. This one keeps opening up. Like, this one keeps opening up days, but, like, all the other ones aren't. Will Amanda go with you, though? Because a lot of people, I've heard a lot of people get tired. Um, no, because, um, so she's eligible to get it, um, but she has to, like, take like cert like certain time off of work for it like to get it um because like she works like full time whereas I work part time but like um my thing is that so so basically so basically it's like this like Amanda has like an unlimited like um like, she could pretty much get it, like, whenever she wants. She just, um, has to, uh, like, she just has to, like, find the time for it. I'm on more of a tight schedule because the only reason that I'm even eligible for it right now is because I'm a restaurant worker. And I want to quit the, I want to quit that job. So that's the only reason why I'm getting it as soon as possible. Um, because I want to quit my job and the downside of me quitting my job now is that I don't get the COVID vaccine. So, but then like, as I was talking about earlier, that brings up like a whole other issue on like, if I were to get my first dosage of the COVID vaccine, and then I quit my job, am I able to get the second dosage? Because they set up the appointment and everything for you right there, but if I have to prove that I'm still a restaurant worker, then that's going to be an issue. Because I just, I just don't want to, I just don't want to work at the, at the restaurant anymore. Um, if it doesn't matter, and I don't need to like show a pay stub anymore or anything that I can just then I can just quit. Um, but if I have to continue working there, then that's gonna be just a giant that's just gonna be a giant issue. Because I think you need like what is it like? I know you need a second dosage, but I don't know if you need three or four. If you need three or four, then it's like fuck. But two, I can handle two. If I, like, really have to. Because it's, like, a 21 days after your first shot. Bruh, Hamazaki is just really just itching Saejima to just get out of here. by the entrance so you're out. So <laughs> what? Need one for on the outside. Going across the yard over to the fence. There's the one guard tower. This is such a complicated ass plan. What? I hope I don't have to memorize all this. A grappling hook? Your job is to find something we can use as a rope and some kind of hook to go with it. What? Oh my god, really? He's in jail? That's nuts. That's so funny.
That's so funny, actually. What time is it, by the way? It's 8.41. Hmm. It's 8.41. I've been going for about three hours. I feel like this might be a good place to stop. Right? Hello, other guard. Because I'm, I'm assuming after this, like, the jailbreak sequence is going to take probably, like, another hour or so, right? I'm going to double save because I can. Yeah, I think so. I got to get ready for tomorrow anyways because I'm, uh... Well, one, it's Valentine's Day, but also, two, uh, I am working tomorrow. Um, so, like, I don't have to be ready until, like, noon-ish, but I want to, like, relax tonight. And, um, yeah, I want to relax tonight and maybe, uh, yeah, I need, to get, I need to get some sleep. I mentioned it earlier, too, but, like, last night, I did not sleep well at all last night. So, like, being able to nap for even a little bit today was super nice, but, like, I still feel kind of, like tired um but uh but yeah i mean i think we've made pretty good progress about like three hours finished akiyama's story moved on to saijima it wasn't too bad we finished akiyama's um playthrough in like two streams so i feel like next time we play this we can probably finish saijima's section or at least get close to finishing saijima's sections and then moving on to the third character, and then Kiryu. So I think we're making pretty good progress. And I've been really enjoying this. I mean, like, just that brief combat section with Saijima. I can already tell is going to be a fun character. Um, if that's really all his combat has to him, is that, like, the only difference really is just charge attacks, I mean, I'm all in for it. Like, it's definitely not as, uh... I, I wasn't really know what I was expecting, but he feels more like a powerful, like a more powerful charge like character. And I imagine that he's able to lift all of the heavy shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Then yeah, that that's totally manageable. This is going to be fun. I'm super excited for this because like, it's like beast style and only beast style, you know, that's cool. So yeah. Um, so like I mentioned, um, Yakuza, well, actually, I have a DMC Yakuza video on the way, too, but, um, I'm, pro I'm not gonna get to it tomorrow, so, that's another video that I have in the works that's sort of cooking in the oven, um, I'm probably gonna have that done, not before, um, not before, what was I about to say, I'll probably have the Yakuza video done before the No More Heroes video, because I have to actually go through the uh, the DLC still. I think I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna work on the work on the DLC video, uh, release the first one, finish the second one by like the next week, and then submit and then like upload that like the next week. Um, if it's even worth going through, like I clipped a lot of stuff because we were having a blast with it. But like if it's not as good as I like think it's going to be, then I'll probably just scrap it. But, um, I still gotta actually look over that footage. I just knew that there was a lot. Um, so other than that, yeah, um, on Monday, I will be continuing Resident Evil 7, uh, going through the DLC, all the DLC in Resident Evil 7. Uh, if we end up finishing the DLC early, I'm thinking that we'll probably just play more Resident Evil stuff, so, like... Resident Evil 4 Mercenaries or something. Uh, that's something that I've been just sort of playing on my free time. Or going on to DMC5 stuff, but uh, but probably not. No, I will not play the original Final Fantasy 7. Those are my 8 plus final words. Um, but on Monday, too, I will, I will have to end the stream at, like, 8 o'clock. So we might even just get through End of Zoe and then all the other DLC and then that's it. Um, we might not even really have that much time, because if I have to get up at, like, 5.30 or 6 o'clock, it's probably got to be, like, I have to get up at 5, 
So that's... Yeah, I have to be in bed by 9 to get, like, a full 8 hours. I'm thinking. Yeah. So, we're gonna have to end stream at, like, 8. Um, the other thing, too, that's really kind of bullshit is the fact that, um... I am actually working an egregious amount next week, which is dumb. Because I was on vacation this week, and, well, now I'm getting the COVID vaccine on Tuesday. Like, it's just no matter what, I'm getting it, because that's just the priority right now. Um, but they had me scheduled Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, which is just sucks. Um, but yeah, but yeah, pretty much. Um, actually, I just realized I can just release the shift for Tuesday and see if anyone picks it up. I just realized, I totally forgot that I can do that. I can, I'm going to do that right now, actually. Um, but yeah, shit. I, I totally forgot that I could do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that um, as soon as I can. So yeah, that's going on on Monday. Um, Wednesday, there will be no stream because I have to work. Um... So I will see you guys on Monday, um, pretty much. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I just, I totally, it just totally flew over my head that I could do that. Honestly, it's been a while since I've had to, like, request a day off that I, that I also worked. Um, or, like, released a shift anyways. It's been a while since I've had to. So, um, we're gonna see who's on right now. And, um, see, um, and see where we can go. Ooh, Dez is on, actually. He's on playing Smash Ultimate. That's fun. All right, so we're going to raid Dez. Where is... Where is the raid button? All righty. There we go. So, thank you guys again for watching. You all have been awesome. And I will see you on Monday for more Resident Evil 7 stuff. So, have a good night, guys. ダメだね、ダメよ、ダメなのよ。あんたが好きで好きすぎて、どれだけ強いを避けても歪まない思い出がバカみたい。